was out here doing some squatch investigating. There's one thing you gotta be aware of when you're out doing investigating, and that's bars. I was out here doing some investigating. Now, the experts say that if you run into a bar, you just got to blow yourself up big and make a loud noise and it'll scare them off. I reckon that's what I'm going to try. You with me? Here we go. Now, one thing you don't want to do is run from a bar. I'm speaking strictly from experience here. He will catch you. Now, this week's episode, we're going to talk about knots and cordage and knot tying. Now, what do you think of when you think of a knot? Well, you probably think of this right here. Now, I got a little paracord here. When you think of a knot, you probably think of something just as simple as that right there. But you know, when you put a load on that, you know, when you're dragging something, tying something up, hanging your hammock, for example, like we did in the uh, 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 cover episode, that knot that gets so tight, you can't get it undone. Especially kind of one-handed. Just bear with me, bear with me. Well, folks, it's kind of hard to do a video when you're down to my near one hand. I'm going to hold off for a little while, do a little healing, and then I'll be back. So, uh, I'll see you. Now, why is cordage one of the main elements of your kit? In other words, one of the six C's of survivability. Well, for one, you can make so many other things with it, and you, you can't make a lot of it with what's around you in the woods. It's so much easier just to have some with you. Cordage is for more than just tying knots. It can help you make a far, lashings, bindings. You can make traps, fishing line, and you just about name it. And if something was to happen to your belt while you're out there in the wilderness, Now, another good kind of cord is what you call tarred bank line. It's light, it's tough, it breaks down into three different strands that can be used for lots of other things, and it's not real expensive. You know, there ain't no sense in using expensive paracord on things like tarp guy lines and such. Now, these are the kinds of rope and cordage and such, but I want to show you, show you, show you, a particular knot that's good for catching squatches. See, a squatch is so tall, they don't look down at their feet much. And so there's a particular kind of knot, a particular kind of trap that I like to set up and tie off called a trip wall. Let me show you how it's done. Let me show you how to tie a good tight trip wall. And this right here is really good for a ridge line too over your hammock and such. So we'll start on this end with that knot I showed you in uh, the cover elements video. Go around there, loop that, loop, loop. 
right there will hold the squash. And then when you're done, watch it. Comes right undone. We do that again. Alright. Then we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna go around that tree. Now, now I'm gonna put me a loop in this right here. Okay? Put a loop right there. And then when I bring this through that loop, watch this. Watch how tight. Ooh, I can pull that tight. And then I can just tie it up. Now, that's right there. Squatch come walking through there. And I'm telling you, he ain't looking. And of course, I know it's there, so I step on the guy. Oh. Now, as you can see, I have changed out the paracord I had down there. I was using some light uh, desert tan so you could see it on the video, but I've swapped it out. For this here camo pattern uh, paracord, because we fixing to set something up here. Let me show you. I have modified this here meter with a Bluetooth device that connects to my cell phone. What's one of the C's of survivability? Remember? Your cell phone. It comes in handy in all kinds of ways, not just for entertainment and keeping your mind occupied. But I have outfitted this meter with a Bluetooth device that connects to my cell phone that will tell me when Bigfoot Sasquatch has tripped over this here wire. And I'm gonna hook it up. Now, when he trips over that wire and that thing goes off, it's gonna show up on my cell phone let me show you. Watch this right here. See that? Now, if they was a Bigfoot, he'd show up right there. That's awesome. Now, before we go, there's one more knot I want to show you. I love it. I use it all the time. I already showed it to you in the cover elements video, but I'm going to show it to you here in case you forgot. I hope you can see this. But I'm going to go around this tree here. Here's my working end. See that? Now watch. Watch real close. I'm going to do a loop. Okay. I'm going to put it on that side. I'm going to run this here through it. Like that. And look at that. That'll hold. Man, that'll hold. That'll hold even my big old butt up in a hammock if you saw that cover elements video but then watch this once i'm done with it watch comes right undone ain't that there the beatingest thing you ever done seed well folks i'm just waiting to see if we get something on that trip wire you know i sure do appreciate y'all uh joining me on this episode of the squatch watch we had a pretty good time you know there's all kinds of good youtube videos where you can get a good close-up of some of the knots uh, that I showed on this here video. Uh, but I appreciate you. It's just a general knowledge, again, when you're out there squatch hunting, some things you need to practice and keep in mind you might need to know. Oh, looky here. Lee, we got us a squatch. <laughs>